Hello guys, I am Jay Rishikesh from Rishi Apps YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to see how to create the image recognizer app with Pantable. Before going inside this video, let's uh, make sure that we just click this red color subscribe button. And next, we need to go to the x.tankable.com and you need to click this uh, uh, create new app button. And you do name your project as I'm going to do my project name as image recognize okay it's my project name and you can give whatever project name that you want and now I need to create this project I need to go to the category as education yes let's create that image recognizer yes this is our thunkables uh, app building screen and that we can do some designing with our screen one and this is the overall designing part and if you click the screen and if you click the advanced sorry on the simple itself we can see the background image right so you can upload whatever background image that you want so I'm going to add an image like something I can get from the Google, like mountain images. I can get something here. Yes. What do you need to do means right click, open image in new tab. Yes, the URL is smaller. Than also, while copying this image URL, you should make sure that the image URL is starting with HTTPS, okay? And you need to paste it in the background page. Yes, it was added. And what we need to do next? The next step is I need to add an image component. It's a visible component. Yes, I have added uh, successfully as the image component. Okay, then what I need to do means I need to add some image for this uh, image component. So I'm going to add one password one file. So I'm going to add one file that was I already downloaded. So it is, yeah. Is where the fully uh, added the image, okay? And I'm going to increase those image radius by we go and draw yes, hundred yeah. radius is good, I think so. So then, what we need to do next? The next step is I need to add a label here. So in the add components here you can see the label okay so the light is before that you can use the yes you can make the label color in a white white because the background is like dark color so i'm going to here switch to white so you can do whatever color that you want so just simply i'm going to add like white and the text is your answer okay your answer and what i'm going to do next i'm going to add a column here column is a component i think you know yes then what we need to do next I'm going to change this column color as background color as any color like to red dark green. So I need to make as dark green itself. Yes, and here I'm going to display the answer. And here we are going to upload an image. Okay, now what we are going to do next? Uh, we are going to we need to add an image recognizer component which is an invisible component that you can see in the image section okay image recognizer and after adding you need to 
upload a sorry you need to add a photo library component it's also invisible component and camera camera component it is also invisible component so our designing part is totally completed what we need to do means yes one second Yes, I am reloading my timetable. Yeah, okay. And what we need to do, let's go to the block section. And all, oh, I need to add a camera component. Yes, camera. And another one component I need to add that is alert. Okay. The alert component will alert the user. Okay. With the name itself, you can understand. So, for the title for this uh, component, I'm going to give as image, and the message that uh, that was sent by the as uh, alert component is going to be uh, add image by like that, and in confirm place, I'm going to uh, add an upload. Okay, upload. There are two types of button here, confirm button, cancel button, and a confirm button will go on right side of the alert, and cancel button comes on the first of the uh, first of our alert, and in the cancel press, what I'm going to give means camera. So I'm going to give this confirm button name is upload, and cancel button name is camera. Okay. And what I need to do next, let's go to the blocks and we can start our blocks. Okay. And whenever user was click, also I need to add another one in visible component that is text to speech. Okay. It is on the voice section, it is an invisible component. And I, I can set the default language as English itself. And I can go to the blocks. Uh, text to speech you know from the title itself why right? because it will take uh, it will speak the text okay and whenever you suppose click this image one what is image one image one is that add button that time it should it will be asking this uh alert one that is alert our alert so if the whenever user was you so if was confirm confirm place what we get upload okay upload means photo library you need to call that photo library and you need to, you need to select the photo and it needs to where we need to display the photo means in the image completely this add button only okay then only it should show that image so like i can add this image one and set to this photo okay and what i'm going to know next that is if the Sorry, I need to keep using this. If did user cancel, this means the time the data set the image one to this image sound itself. Okay, then whenever user was whenever user so if uh, go to logic and get the not block if not was confirmed means that time I need to add the uh, I need to call the camera. For well, was not confirmed means it is cancelled. Cancel means camera because I have set the cancel place as camera. Okay, and whenever it should call the after taking the photo, it need to display this display it on this image only. And same like uh, if the if the user was cancelled means it need to set the image to. Uh, image cell, okay and what we need to do next uh, then means I need to uh, take the image recognizer it need to upload okay was confirming oh, oh, so, so. Yes. Yes. yes I need to add before this if condition so it need to upload this image and after uploading this I need to get the result for that you are going to display it on the label 
for the description. Also same again when the user was with the camera okay. Okay, then what we need to do? We need to speak that description, right? For that, what we need to do? Oh, uh, go to the text to speech component and speak. What need you speak means the description only. Okay. Need to speak that description only. And after speaking, it is repeating again. So I'm going to add the speak into this description. Yes, we have successfully completed our code. So let's check this uh, app, okay, on the next video, okay. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, I will tell uh, how this app is uh, the output of this app, okay. Thank you.